What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. EA finally, finally released the UCL Showdown cards. Celebrate the UEFA Champions League only, I guess, with UCL Showdown. UCL Showdown SBCs will highlight the drama in Lisbon with special SBCs released for one player on each team with a highlighted matchup. The special UCL Showdown item from the winning side will receive a permanent Plus three overall stat boost. First things first. Well done to EA for finally getting this up. Secondly, why didn't we have this for each of the quarterfinal matches and then the semifinals and then a final? Maybe make the winner of the final one a 99 or something. You know, um, let's see who we've got and what we've got for today. Also, some stuff for you from yesterday, um, which we didn't know about because EA didn't mention it. And that is uh, that... The best of is back in packs in abundance. About another 200 and some odd extra cards got thrown into packs. And so there is way, way more value in packs now, which is interesting that there's still no promo packs. Um, but what the benefit of that is, is now when you're doing your grinding league SBCs or grinding SBCs in general, the 82 to 88 packs, all these bonus packs EA are going to be giving out, um, you now have the potential of packing quite a lot more team of the seasons and such. I just want to open a couple here and show you guys. Uh, I'm probably not going to pack anything, but I already packed team of the year De Jong. Um, I think we've got another team of the year as well. I packed a couple of team of the seasons, including Kovacic and, and another big one, like a 97 rated one. I can't remember who that was. Um, but yeah, in general, packs are back. Um, let me show you guys, actually. Let me go here and show you exactly what I packed. If we go newest... And set it to special. I packed Lucas Leiva there. I packed Medel, Cornet, Parejo, Moreno, and De Jong or De Jong. Um, so first owner tradable right there, which obviously is very nice. I packed Kovacic and Eggstein, and that all came after that Ricuarte that we got um, in yesterday's video. So there is items back in packs. Let us have a look today. Juan Bernat. And Emil Forsberg. Oh, interesting. So it is the PSG versus Red Bull Leipzig uh, matchup. It's a 92 Juan Bernat versus a 93 Emil Forsberg. Let's have a look. First of all, Bernat, four star, three star. Is it? Did he have, was he four star, three star initially? He was. So they haven't updated his skill moves a week for anything. Uh, in terms of the card, this card looks. Brilliant. Brilliant defensive stats. Insane physicals. You know, for a fullback, 99 stamina, 95 aggression is fantastic. No traits, four-star skill moves. Um, very, very good dribbling. Composure, barely irrelevant, or barely relevant, should I say, uh, for that Bernat card. Overall, his face card st stats look great. And you, I personally would assume that he will be the one getting upgraded. I think PSG are going to win the game. Um, and so he'll go up to a 95 should he be the one that progresses through. His pace is very good. His shooting obviously is not great, but he's a fullback. It doesn't matter. His passing is very good. So a plus three on this card would see him something kind of special, like very, very, very good. Now it requires one squad only. How deep is this squad going to be? It's going to require an 84 rated squad with 70 chemistry and one PSG player. That is not that Bad. I think an 84 rated squad these days is coming in at about 80 to 90,000 coins. And then you've got Elmil Forsberg. It's interesting to me that he's two squads. He is four star, four star. He has the outside the foot shot trait and the flare trait. He has 91 stamina, good strength and aggression combination. His dribbling is quite nice. His pace is okay. His passing is very good. His, his shooting is okay. You know, a chem style is needed for him. I personally think this is. I don't want to say below the power curve, right? Because we're at that stage of the game where if you're worried about a card being below or above the power curve, you've probably done it wrong so far this year. But what I will say is there have been and are multiple better players than Forsberg out there. That The fact that he's two squads makes me feel like would probably be cheaper. So an 82, okay, that's not bad. An 82 for prime election, premium election players pack and a Bundesliga player. An 83 with 70 chemistry for a premium mixed players pack. That is not bad for the two for the, the two squads there. 
Still going to be quite expensive. If he does get promoted up and boosted up to a 96 rated card, that would be absolutely legit. These now, guys, have far, far more value. You remember what I said? Like, now that EA have put all these extra special cards in packs, what we just want to do is go to gold rare, goalkeeper, low to high. Um, yeah, now that EA have put all these special cards in packs, why am I getting all these, like, players I don't care about? Um... Interesting with Forsberg as well is that there's actually a fair old amount of decent uh, Swedish players that you can link to him. So if you are Swedish yourself and you're building your, you know, your Swedish team, you could uh, you could really enjoy it. Why have I got so few rare players? I've been open, I've been spam opening packs. Why have I got so few? Anyway, um, I think with my brain, um, I think. This 81 double upgrade can now actually be very, very, very valuable, especially due to the fact that rare golds are dirt cheap. Um, so there's another halftime challenge for a Prime Electron Players pack. We've got the Sudamericana grind. You know what I mean? Um, and then that is that is all there is for today, by the looks of things. Um, but let me let me just have a look before we go into footman and have a look at the stats and the in-games and stuff. Oh dear. I might build a couple more of them. Because that's bad. <laughs> um, that's real bad. Yeah, I might, I might build a couple more of those on the web app. They're both duplicates. Are they both tradable or are both untradable? Both duplicate tradables, which is quite nice. Let's first of all, guys, have a little look on Futbin. Just to have a look at these two new cards. So Burnout is there. Forsberg is there. Is that an upgraded Goretzka? I'm not entirely sure. The 92 Leon Goretzka. That's a good card, isn't it? That is a really good card. Um, we got Forsberg first off. I think a Maestro on him is very, very, very good. I think a... Um, oh, hold on. I have to sign out of this to get into the web app. My apologies. Um, yeah, Ma a Maestro is very, very good. You could You could put something like a Hunter on him and play him in a weird role. Or a sniper and play him in a weird role. Or a marksman and boost that strength and aggression and whatnot. Don't know whether that would be like necessarily insane or not. Um, or, you know, you, you could make him into like one of those box-to-box -box style midfield. No, he can't be a box-to-box. -box. His defending is terrible. I think a mar marksman is what I would know. A maestro. No, marksman. Yeah. I think I'd go with the marksman, guys. Yeah, I do. Um, reason being, that nice little boost on physicals. Great shooting, great dribbling, great passing. He's got good traits, you know, the outside foot shot and the flare trait. I like that card a lot. I don't know what the actual price is going to come in at. Let's have a look at what the boost was as well from the 84. So they gave him 16 pace, 16 shooting, 18 physical. That is a very, very nice boost for Forsberg. And then, like I say, like in terms of Sweden... You've got that Ibrahimovic, you've got Kaisen, you've got Icons, you've got that Ibrahimovic and that Ibrahimovic, I suppose you don't have. You've got Isaac, Isaac as well, Augustinsson with a special card, not that it's very good. You've got the makings of an okay Swedish team, I suppose. And then for Bernat, I mean, an anchor for me would be the one straight away. I, I rate this very highly, you know, for quite simply just an 84 rated squad, four star skill moves. Brilliant stats right there. You could even play an engine on him. It would still make him a great fullback, great pace, great dribbling, great passing. He's already got very good physicals, very good defending. That might be the one, you know. This is, I personally think this is a really, really good card. Now, before we get the prices in, let's have a look. So there's UCL halftime challenge. No prices yet. So whilst we're waiting for the prices, let's go into the SBCs. Let's go into the, uh, I wouldn't worry about the 82 to 88 now. I think that's a waste of time. But with 23 hours to go, I think the 81 double upgrade guys could be quite very, very useful. Um, so we just want to go gold rares, low to high. And as long as I've got, not got anyone, see, I don't want to use that Cesar as Piliquetar. You know what I'm saying? Um, what can we get for a bit of chemistry here? Nothing really. I need like a Premier League player or something that's not as Pili really. He'll do. There we go. So we pop him in there. Um, and let's build another one just for the, uh, the uh, giggles. 
build that. Let's get Azpili really back out of there again. Let's put the Frenchman in. What have we got for uh, chemistry here? There's a little few links there. That puts us to 48. We've got another Frenchman. Turkish League. Boom. Pop him in there. Um, so that's not bad either. So there you go. So I think right now, guys, uh, let's open this first one. I think these 81 pluses, that's Aaron Gies only. But I think they could be good because of the volume of uh, special cards. Let me just send him to the trade pile. That are in packs now again. And obviously... I, oh, Pjanic. Nice. Nice little 86 there. Almeida in there as well. Let me do. Let me just do one more. I want to get a special card just to show you guys. I thought that they would be coming out thick and fast because um, obviously put Egan in there because we'll actually get some links off of that. I don't know what was in the rest of that team. I didn't even look. Um, yeah, I thought they'd be coming out thick and fast because of how many are in packs now and how little value that they have in general. I might have put a couple of expensive midfielders in there, hadn't I? Um, let's put, did I turn in as Equator? I did, didn't I? I must have done. Otherwise, where is he now? Or oh, did I get... Oh, no, I got Almeida, the right back. That's why. Oh, thank God for that. I thought I turned him in. Um, yeah, if we open this here, still... I mean, Pjanic is the best we've got so far. We get Kolarov there as well. With Izzo, not necessarily... Um, not necessarily ideal. I th <laughs> Come on. Oh, my God, EA. So... Oh, I mean, it's Coutinho. Not bad. He just obviously absolutely battered Barcelona last night. Um, I want to just do another one. I want to I want to keep going until I hit a special card. But I know that's not going to be, like, a smart choice. I know for a fact the price... Wait, did I get Almeida again? Wow. Yeah, I know for a fact the price of rare golds is just on the floor. So you guys will be able to build one of these packs... Are so cheap, you know, you're looking like eight, seven, eight thousand coins for one pack, which is obviously not necessarily so cheap, but it's fairly cheap, right? Um, have we got anything? So Cesar is in there again. Let's get the pro league guy in again. That'll give us some chemistry. Probably better if I do that as well, not by much. Um, we've got Bauman in there. I don't really care like all that much, but I also do want some. Swap him over there. Let's swap those two around. He gives me 44 chem. We've got another Spaniard, another Pro League. Premier League, Bundesliga. Oh, I suppose Bundesliga could work. 46. What else have we got? We've got another Bundesliga. I don't really want to use Demir Bay. I could pop him in there. That'll give us some chem. There we go. Um, yeah, I was, I was kind of like, I was just hoping for a little bit more. Let's see. So no, no special card here again. And it's only Morata that comes out of that. I've still stuck in enough decent cards, a couple of 86s and stuff, into the club. There's nothing's happening here. Oh, my days. Um, let's have a look at the price points of these guys right now, guys. So you've got 100k for Forsberg and about 9 million coins for Burnout. So 100k for Forsberg is not too bad. You know, it's really not too bad. And again, because you can craft it, you can use the 81 double upgrade packs. You can use the, uh, um, the 82 to 88 packs for these as well. And obviously the 82 to 88 packs, in spite of the fact that they're generally not great value in terms of the special cards that you can get out of them what they are good for is they are very 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 cheap to put together um if we then go to you score builder again and you can see with how quickly i'm building them as well um they don't take much to build so you only need 45 chemistry in these it's seven golds it's four bronzes. It's really quick to just gut your club with them. I've actually packed a team of the season, haven't I? That is genuinely outrageous. So I did, what was six for 81 pluses and got nothing. We did 182 to 88. We got Ocampos. Now, if we compare the price of Ocampos, he's up there. He's like 50K, right? So we've just got ourselves like a 50,000 coin player there, a team of the season player there from the 82 to 88 that we could then put in the 82 rated squad and then just bring the price way down so um as you guys can tell because the best of is back in packs which you know it is now because i finally just got a special card uh it's happy days um that is the content for today forsberg and juan Bernat. i'm glad he bought this back i don't believe there's anything new at all outside of that there really just isn't um there's nothing else going on so that is it for today 
Um, I will be back tomorrow with more content, guys. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to leave a like, rate, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you guys want to see any full guys, uh, the most recent video will be there. The playlist will be there. Go check it out. It's some great content, some great laughs with all my pals playing some full guys. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.